Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will discuss one more concept in our cascading style sheets that is a list properties. So in our HTML, we have seen different types of list. So in that we have seen ordered list and unordered list. That means, so listing an items with uh, unordered values, that means by using a square or a circle, etc, etc. And ordered list means giving uh, listing the elements with the uh, Roman numbers or alphabets, etc, etc. So here we can also give the styles for those list concepts. Now we'll see that one, right? So list property. So in the first one is list style type, which is nothing but our uh, ordered list type and uh, unordered list type. That is a circle or a square or upper Roman. That means uh, upper characters and uh, lower Roman, lower characters and upper alpha that means alphabets or lower alpha that means lower case alphabets right so we can give the style here okay so without using the style property inside the list we can explicitly we can apply the style type and the next one not only these things we can also give your own image to list the items so for that we have to go with the property called style image list style image and you need to give sorry you need to give the path or location inside the url function so here you need to give the path right and then one more thing position so where the list should be displayed so that will be two values we can give inside or outside so I'll, i will show you the difference right so we'll write on one program and we'll show you i'll show you all these things so i'll write the basic html tag and uh, then we'll write the code right so head and style inside the head we need to write down the style and body right here we need to define the body so here we will we'll, uh, write the list okay we will display the list so I will go with the uh, unordered list li list item 1 li close the list item and similarly yes so I have given some four list two, three, and four. So this is an unordered list, right? So let us display that one. Unordered list, right? So also we will create the ordered list, right? Also we will create the ordered list. Let me close the unordered list and apply the same thing use the same thing for the unordered list oh, sorry ordered list ordered list root. ordered list 1 and ordered list 2 ordered list 3 and ordered list 4 and here instead of ul we need to write down ol ol means ordered list now save this one i'll save the the same thing so list dot html and you can see the icon created on the desktop so three so open this one and you can see unordered list and ordered list and here you can observe you can observe the unordered list circle by default it's a circle and here by default it's in numbers now you can apply the style here you can apply the style here so i need to apply the style for complete ul unordered list right unordered list and this is nothing but our tag okay uh, selector tag selector element selector okay we are directly giving the element here and i will go with the list style type 
uh, with <coughs> uh, first unordered list i'll go with the circle circle right you can observe here so it has been changed to circle right so like that here you can also give the square which will give the square display square display right and coming to the unordered list uh, sorry ordered list here also you can give the list property list style type as uh, let it be lower alpha and you can check it's a lower alpha and if you want to use a upper alpha that means upper alphabets okay upper alphabets upper alphabets and uh, okay upper roman the roman values upper roman values and lower roman values right so we can give anything okay and if you place it as a none so nothing will be applied here if the list style type is none you can see the bullets and numbering will be invisible invisible right but everything will be in a clear list but so the bullets and numbering will be disappeared right so this is list style type is none and if you want to give the image okay if you want to apply the image so simply what we can do is so list style image and give the url so on the desktop there is a image called bullet.png i'll i'll use the same thing so bullet.png and we are applying this bullet.png for ordered list okay we are just giving the bullet.png for ordered list list style image url bullet.png yes so here we have to use a colon instead of a semicolon right? and you can observe that it's a large image very large image so first we'll reduce the image so that you can uh, feel the difference so i'll open this image in a paint yes i'll resize it here so i'll resize it to 10 10 by 10 and again still we can resize it to 40 percent save this one and now you can apply it will be displayed clearly you can observe so not only the circle or a square that means a predefined we can also give the user defined that means we can also include the image as a bullet send numbering right so here we have given this uh, listed style image for the ordered list so the same image will be applied for the ordered list itself so if the image is somewhere else other than the desktop you need to give the complete location of the here so here I'm, i have not given because my source file and the image are in the same location so that's why it's not necessary to give the complete path but if it is in different location you need to give the complete path right and now the next one inside and outside so let us check inside and outside so i'll i'll remove this one so list style type lower alpha yes now let us create the style option so i'll use here list style position position which is inside so you can feel the difference ordered list inside so that means this a will be coming closer to this one right so inside inside the list and if it is outside so outside the margin it will be displayed so you can observe here this is a margin for list even uh, for the ordered list or unordered list 
and if you consider this as a margin this is outside and you can see if it is a inside inside so the numbering will be started with the border itself so you can observe so this numbering will start from this location if it is inside yes right so that's a different a slight difference for uh, positioning uh, list style positioning so list style position so outside so it looks good yes it looks good so this is how we can apply the styles on the list and also apart from these we can apply the colors for the for this particular list so i'll use a color background color so you can simply use a background blue and you can apply so this background is equal to blue is applied for ul see ul and the foreground color that means a font color can also be changed i'll go with the white white okay and also you can give the list item inside the ul because see you, you can observe here li is the sub tag for ul so if you want to apply any type of styles for li you need to specify as ul li so i'll show you so here we can write it as background let us change the color of this background i'll go with a yellow and now let us check whether it is applied or not. yes see background is blue and for li it is yellow so let us change it to red okay and here you can apply the padding so that it will be some sort of space will be given from each and every uh, this one right and also you can apply the margin you can apply the margin okay now you can see the ordered list the list item is having different colors okay the complete unordered list will be in one color and inside the li we can do another color so if you want to apply any type of styles in the li and that is a sub tag of ul so you have to write it as ul li so this will be applied only for li which is available in ul so if you are not writing ul you can observe it will be applied to all the li that means list items all the list items it will be applied so if you want to apply only for unordered list the list items of unordered list then you have to mention ul li so only the list items which are available in unordered list will be affected all right so this is how we can apply the list styles and the colors for the unordered list or ordered list in css right so let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this concept feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much